Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and I'm back with a problem investigation. If you updated to the Mac OS Monterey 12.2 update and your Mac is losing battery power overnight after you put it to sleep, there's a problem with Bluetooth and accessories. I'm gonna go over the problem and what you can do to fix it until Apple comes out with a software update next. Quickly before we begin here, if I find any newer fixes or ways around this issue, check the description of this video. I will keep that up to date if I find a newer fix, and I'll also put in there if Apple's fix this with a certain software update. First, let's talk about who is affected by this issue and what the issue actually is. First of all, if you installed the macOS Monterey 12.2 update or the 12.3 update beta, like you can see on this 2018 MacBook Pro I'm using to test universal control, you are affected. Now, it's not just laptops. If you have an iMac or a Mac Mini, your Mac will still have this issue. The issue is, is that if you have any Bluetooth accessories connected to your Mac like a Magic Keyboard or Magic Mouse or a Logitech MX Mouse for example connected to your Mac and then you close the lid or you put the Mac to sleep in the background the Mac will continually wake up and then go right back to sleep and in doing that the Mac if you have a laptop will continually go dead on battery if you can see this graph here you can see what happened and we were working fine use the system and then put it to sleep right about here and then it continually went down until the battery was completely flat while the Apple Magic keyboard was connected and kept waking up every 10 to 15 seconds and then going back to sleep every 10 seconds until the battery is dead. So this is a pretty serious issue. And the same thing, like I said, if you have a desktop machine, it will continue to wake up in the background to check. So let's watch this in action. I'm using PMSET, which is a binary command through terminal that allows you to manipulate power management settings in the Mac. You can check the log, you can change different settings. It's a really powerful command. I'm going to put all the commands in the description of this video so you can test this for yourself. So what I did is I set up a Magic Keyboard, as you can see here, connected to the 2018 MacBook Pro running 12.3 beta, and then I put it to sleep and then watch what happens. I also turn on the caps lock so you can actually see when the caps lock is on, the computer is fully awake. When the caps lock light is off, the computer will go back to sleep. So what we'll do is we'll click on play here and you can see that the light is on right now and then oh, there it goes it just went to sleep but you'll see within a couple seconds here the light will come back on because the mac is waking up in the background to do a check we'll give it a second here and there it goes. So when it's doing this, let's look at this one, this particular one right here. This woke up at 2235.17. It was awake for six seconds. Then the charge was 9% battery power, went back to sleep. And then at 2235.29, it woke right back up again and was up again for six seconds. And then you can see here, slowly the battery continues to go lower. 9%, 8%, 7%, 6%, 5%, 4%, 3 and then all the way until the, the Mac goes into hibernation mode at 0% battery power. You can now see for yourself this happening in the background. Wow. Let's quickly jump into how can we prevent this from happening to our Mac until Apple comes out with a software update. Well, there's a couple quick ways we can do this. And the first one is disabling Bluetooth. So we can go up to the Bluetooth menu and bar icon if you have it activated or go into system preferences and then go into the all menu and then click on Bluetooth and just simply cycle this off by turning Bluetooth off. And you'll see that the magic keyboard will disappear and then you can put the Mac to sleep and it will not continue to wake up anymore. Now let's say if you want to leave Bluetooth on because you have a keyboard and mouse or maybe you're connected to a dock or something and you have your Mac the lid closed. So what you can do is turn Bluetooth back on but what you can do and we'll make sure the keyboard's connected here okay connected now what we'll do is we'll turn the switch to the keyboard off and then the keyboard's off once you close the lid now the bluetooth is not being connected and going to prevent the mac from going to sleep properly now how do we know this what we can do is we can run another uh, command here pm set dash g so we can hit enter and we can see if there's anything blocking us from going to sleep over the, with the sleep option right here so what we can do is we can turn our keyboard back on and we'll hit the space bar. It's now connected. Let's run the command again. And now we can see that the Bluetooth is going to be, or the sleep is going to be blocked by Bluetooth. So that's something that you can do to quickly check to see if you're going to have a problem going to sleep. So again, if we turn this off and then we run the command again, we should see, there we go. Now we're going to be able to go to sleep properly and we're not going to have that issue. Now, when is Apple going to fix this? Well, it's in the news now and hopefully Apple is right to working on a fix. Now, seeing that it's not fixed in the latest beta, 
beta is a little bit concerning here. The fact that beta one of 12.3, it's still in there. That means that they have not been aware of this or found it fixed before the latest version of 12.3 comes out. They could fix this in 12.3 beta two, but we won't know until that comes out probably next week. Uh, usually they come out with a beta every week or two. If they do fix this, when will the update come out? Now that's a, that's a tougher question because Apple usually releases software updates uh, every month or two months for the major releases like 12.3, 12.4. There could be a security release in here where right now it's 12.2, it could be 12.2.1, they could slip that fix in there. So we'll have to see. And again, I'll keep you updated with the latest information in the description of this video. You can follow me on my Twitter, which I'll let you guys know as soon as there's information about this issue. I hope this helped you with an at least a workaround until Apple fixes it, this issue. If you're running a laptop here and you're putting your machine to sleep and you're waking up with no battery power, this can be a pretty big pain and hopefully Apple will get this fixed soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you have any questions or if this happened to you when you installed the Mac OS Monterey 12.2 update, let me know in the comments. I thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.